coming out, coming out, coming out, coming out, coming out, coming out, it's there. Oh. Hey guys, how y'all doing today? Deathwinter Gaming is back at it like a jackrabbit with another Fortnite video. And today, Season 6 was released. That is right. As you can see, I played a little bit today. But what is going to happen is we're just going to go through Season 6. I'm going to purchase the Battle Pass, as you can see on the top right, I think. Uh of the screen you can see that I have enough V bucks to buy it so let's go ahead and look at the news first so as you can see darkness rises season six is here explore mysterious map changes and uncover spooky secrets so we have that and it looks like loot lake the cube is being held up by it and then shadow stones which if you saw at the bottom screen, they are temporarily disabled. Um, but what, from what I heard, you can walk through walls and stuff with them. I heard they were very, very broken. But anyway, looking at the background of this screen right here, you can see that the cube is pushing up that tower at Loot Lake. The water is still there, so it's not Lava Lake. But it looks like there's a whirlpool and all the rocks and all the trees are there. And, yeah, it's pretty cool. This looks more like the uh, Season 4 background than the Season 5. But, yeah, let's look at the Battle Pass. So, for getting Season 5 Battle Pass, you get three free tiers. You get the um, Spider Web. Calamity and the Regal Wave. And then um, looking at down at the actual battle pass, as you can see, we got DJ Yonder, which is a freaking sick skin. It's a robot futuristic llama. This thing looks very awesome. And then we have the unlockable styles of the Calamity, part of the Western Wild set. So, it looks like, uh, continuing over from Season 5, um, you have this. So, last season, they more focused on the, um, Vikings and stuff last year. And now, they're focusing on the Wild West. So, as you can see there, they have the Calamity. And then, you have the Picnic, which is part of the Red Riding set. And this looks pretty cool. It's pretty good for an uncommon glider, I will say. And then you go over to here. They added a couple a couple new things, actually. First, they added the Pets Bonzi, which actually looks pretty cool. Dog, it's unlockable styles. I like the dog, Bonzi. And then they also added... Uh, they also added, um, what are they called? Music, and this one is speak, speak, oh my gosh, squeaky clean, yeah, squeaky clean, and I guess he can floss and stuff. And then you have the fabled cape, which is part of the red riding set. And then you have DJ Yonder's pickaxe, which is very good for a rare pickaxe, will not lie. Um, part of the twin turnable set. This looks really amazing. And then you go on over here. You have your first double V box, and then you have the Aviation Age set. This didn't get anything, um, but the free fall still looks pretty cool. You got the Western Wild Glider, um, and then you have this skin, which is kind of weird. I mean, it's called Giddy Up, and it's basically the default skin sitting on a loot llama inflatable loot llama so what's the deal with that that's a pretty weird skin but it still you know looks cool over here we have our toy the tomato and then we have the K 
camo, which is the um, epic pet. It's a chameleon, obviously, and it's just going to sit on your back. We have the Red Riding Pickaxe now. The, um, it looks like a bell and an axe. Looks still pretty cool. We have our first rare emote, Running Man. Um, yeah, that's about what you would expect for an epic emote. Or, sorry, rare emote. Then you have the, uh, Fireflies Lighting Your Way, part of the Red Riding set. So, again, this looks pretty cool. Then you have um, the waveform, which is the DJ Yonder's beautiful, beautiful back bling. This looks pretty cool. I can see me using this on the Bright Bomber skin as well. So, yeah, actually looks pretty cool. Then you have the Covered Crusader, part of the Western Wild set. This looks cool for a rare glider. Not going to lie, this is very, very cool. And then you have Scales, which is the uh, dragon. And this, again, looks really cool. And then it, you got It's Time to Go, which is a better emote than Calculated. This is actually pretty stupid. Sorry, I'm playing with pins right now. I probably shouldn't be doing that in a video. And then you get Fable, the Red Riding skin. This... It's a pretty decent skin, fairy tale, you know. And then we got the eerie music. The jack o' lanterns, because Halloween is going to be part of this season. So hopefully, Skull Trooper comes back. And yeah. Next, we got the Dusk Wings, which are really cool. This is the first epic wings we've gotten. The others have come off legendaries, such as the Valkyrie, Ravage, and Love Ranger. So these are really, really cool wings. Um, and they probably will go well with a lot of dark skins, like the Enforcer, and maybe an archetype. Next, we got a, bo a white Bonzi, um, the unlockable styles. And then we got... The Slytherin. This is the official Hogwarts Slytherin dance. If you are a Team Slytherin featuring with the colors of archetype, then you shall do this dance. And then you have a very cool free fall, Bats. It's actually pretty decent. And then you have Monster High. This is a freaking Monster High doll, if you do not see the resemblance. I don't know how, but this is a Monster High doll. Its name is Dusk Night Coven set. And I probably will buy the male counterpart, depending on if he looks cool. But this skin is a freaking Monster High doll. Next, we have some Pink Scales. That looks pretty cool. The fancy tomato, which is the tomato head they chopped off his head. I'm not even gonna say how wrong that is. And then you have swarm, which this is cool. You're free falling down with the um, bat trails, and then all of a sudden the bats come in form, and you get this really, really cool glider. This thing is probably one of the best gliders I've seen. But my favorite glider is still the laser chomp. I really want that. And then you got the nightshade. Um, the part of the pizza pit set. Um, but first we have the uh, spectral essence part of the western wild set. And then you have the night cloak. And this is pretty cool actually. Um, it's part of the pizza pit set. Um, I don't really like these, this tomato head skin that much, but, you know. But this actually looks pretty cool, the night cloak. That's cool. This is, um, like the Dark Voyager back in Season 3. They haven't done that since Season 3, when they have the back bling in the skin. Um, 
right next to each other. Although it was reversed, so you got the back bling and then the skin back in season three with the Dark Voyager. But they reversed it here. And then you got Bonzi Mocha color. This actually is my favorite, probably. And then you got OG. And then you got the Flamenco. Um, and that's basically like the Fiesta dance. It's it's basically a counterpart to the Fiesta dance. That's all it is. And then you got the bla black scales. This is gonna go cool with archetype. Oh yeah, you guys can see this right now. Look at it. This is a really cool with archetype. I'll be using this combination a lot. And then you got Dire, which is a regular default. And then he starts turning into a werewolf. Then he is a werewolf. And then from there, it's basically just a lot of werewolf styles. So, yeah. And now we are going to go to the... Uh, Oh, if you did not know, the if you did not complete the Drift and Ragnarok challenges, they did carry over to Season 6. So if you have not completed them like I didn't, make sure you do that because you get a second opportunity during Season 6. The Hunting Party. No one knows what it's going to be. There's probably going to be some leaks found. But, and then we have the week one challenges. Pick up a legendary item in different matches. That's pretty easy. Regain health from a cozy campfire. Again, that's just going to be annoying to do. But once you lose health and get damaged, that'll be pretty easy. Uh, search, um, the first challenge was search three chests. And now it's search uh, supply drops. I think I know what the last one is going to be. It's going to be search a supply llama. Apply shields, 500. Again, pretty easy. Stage 1, land at junk junction. Again, that's going to be easy. Dance under different street lights, spotlights. I have to look up the locations of those. And then eliminate opponents in different named locations. Again, that's pretty easy. So week one challenges are way easier than week one challenges in season five. I don't know if you remember. Search of Supply Llama was five battle stars. And then you had to get Clanger, Stink Bomb, or Grenade Eliminations. That was hard as well. But now, we are going to go into a playground mode. And... Oh, if you want to see the regal, regal wave in action, there it is. Um, we're going to go into a playground mode. And I'm just going to show you the different map changes and stuff. Um, see if the bunker at uh, Wailing Woods wasn't covered. We can't find any of those um, stones. But um, we... Should be able to go around to the different map locations. I guess we'll start at Wailing Woods. Um, right here. Looks like that a little bit in Twailing, actually. Um. So, yeah, as you can see, we're going to land in. And then, at the end of the video, I will purchase the Season 6 Battle Pass for you guys. And, yeah. So, ooh, they redid this. It's no longer a maze. Okay. I'm glad I dropped here. I wonder what it is, though. Okay. So, you break the cover, and then you just go down? And then, like, is this the bunker? Oh, my God. Guys, this is the secret bunker. Oh my gosh, okay, we're gonna need this roof to go. Oh 
my god. Legit, they actually finished it. That's been sitting there since I think about season four. How long has Fortnite been planning this? Oh my god. I'm sorry, I just can't believe this. They... Added the bunker, but I don't know what it is. It looks like it's the same doors from the laboratory at a uh, Dusty Divot when that was there. There's a rift. This is like a science lab. Laboratory, but what's it here for? Will this, is this going to develop over the storyline? Like, they're testing a rift. Is there something going to be done with Drift? Like, can we find masks anywhere of the season five? What's three? Oh, it's the room. Is this the last Rift? In season five or season four, what's there here? Glad I came here to check out the bunker. And are they gonna keep adding on to this? Because look, if you break these, says do not enter, they're just brick walls right now. Legit, are they gonna add more into the bunker? Well, we know where a rift is. So I'm gonna just back up to the surface. Let's get an aerial glance of this. There's a supply line over there. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, guys. Let's see what's over here. Sorry, this video has gone on way longer. That's like the lodge at Wailing Woods. I mean, there is a lodge at Wailing Woods now, but like, this is the lodge at, um, I don't know, I'm just picking up random stuff. Well, now does this. No? So this doesn't lead into the, um... This doesn't lead into the, um, secret bunker. I don't think it does anyway, at least. No. No, it doesn't. Um... But that's pretty cool. And then there's one more building over here. Then another lodge. Guys, I'm, like, legit surprised. They changed Wailing Woods up so much. There's another lodge right here. Oh my gosh. What's there here? So this was the original bunker. Hidden behind all that. Oh my god.
Fortnite has changed. Willing wood. And then, of course, you have that area. Let's head over. I wonder if they kept rifts in the game. I'm actually pretty interested in finding that out. Are the tiki heads? Tiki heads are gone. They removed the tiki heads. There's no more anti-gravity crystals. But guys, there's still ATKs. Wailing Woods. Mm -hmm. Wailing Woods was redone. So there's So there's chess here now. At the locations of where the cube left the runes. And then Loot Lake, which is not even named Loot Lake anymore. The cube is holding that island up in the air, which was where the house was. That's the same. I wonder what happened in the island. Wait. So, this is the same belt loop, play, and then you will go down these slides, and that's the same, except, yeah, like, that's the whirlpool, but then what happens if you get inside the whirlpool? You can get up here. And I've been up here, actually. Um, I went up here um, for a match. And it's actually pretty cool. I got three kills here. That's pretty good, actually. But then there's one more location. I would like to check out. And I've heard about this place. And, sorry, I had to do something there. It wasn't that long. But if you head over here, now from what I've heard, from what I've heard, and sorry if you hear talking in the background, um, what I have heard is there it is. There is a castle. There is a castle over here. So they're basically just adding stuff to the mountains, honestly, like, like they, season four, they added the super villain layer. Season 5. They added the Viking village, which someone told me was named, but I don't see any name on it. So I don't know for sure if it's true or not. But 
from what I've heard, the Viking Village was named Viking Village, actually. Um, but I guess it wasn't. I'm going to go up here and check out the castle. I don't know why the castle didn't get named. And if you hear uh, beeping, sorry, I don't know if it's, uh, if you guys can hear it. I definitely can. Um, and it's just my phone. And there is the castle. Castle is right here. Let's see, so there's some loot up here. Um, drop down, that's gonna hurt you. But it looks like you can land up through there. Um, that's pretty cool. Um, and if you... Go over here, some shield and stuff. I can't get there. Got a build and I got stuck. Um, I want to get up and here. Still can't get up into there. Um, oh, sweet. Okay, so now we're into here. Um, there's actually a lot of chests. This is a pretty cool castle. Well, not really. Some tombstones being left around the map. Um, supply drop it's just come in, and I think that is about it for the video. Make sh ah, that hurt. Make sure you guys like and subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on the notification bell for day for some videos when I decide to post. And I shall see you later. Peace out. Alright, I just got done filming the video. AK37 is right behind me because he is being a complete and utter idiot. He is pinching me right now because he is has anger issues. You dude, you're trying to attack me. I'm trying to defend myself. All right, um, oh, new gear available in the shop. Yeah. Let's see what is there. Part of the Oktoberfest set. Ooh, Oktoberfest. So we got Ludwig and Heidi from the Oktoberfest. That is pretty cool. Axe recording and Oktoberfeast. I like it. Um, Solid Strider, that's new. No, it's not. Oh, never mind. And why I started filming again was I forgot to purchase the battle pass. There it is. We upgraded the battle pass. Let's see all the rewards we get. Two from percent. DJ Llama. Very nice. The Calamity. She has unlocked the battle pass challenges. Calamity challenges. Personal XP boost. Five free tiers. Banner icon. Bang, Calamity, and a hundred V-Bucks. Can I see what the mode is? Let me see. There, and as you can see, let's go over to Skins, Calamity, I see the unlockable and styles. DJ uh -huh. Yonder. Go to un edibles. And there's co colored clothing as well. So go to her final unlockable. 
I saw like oh, oh, that's dope. Carbide and Omega. There is unlockable style. Can I see the unlockable style for the werewolf? Dude? No. Wait, dude, what's that new thing down there? Uh, music. Okay. Oh, yeah. Now, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe, as I said already. Blah blah blah, and peace.